Hello, welcome to another tutorial. I know it's been a long time since I made the last one, but I was busy, so now we're going to start up with some new tutorials. This tutorial is to teach you how to make Bomberman. So here we go. First, we make all the sprites. I'll just fast forward through all this quickly while I make them. You want to make them standing still, and we need to make moving sprites. And you also want to make sure that you center each object. I mean sprite. In this tutorial, we'll go through basically any Bomberman game. So we're going to create an object bomb, we're going to make an enemies and some rooms. And I'm just loading all these sprites from a folder I created that had all the sprites in them. And I'll post this in the tutorial when I'm finished with this. Now I'm going to create, I'm going to get the wall sprite. And I'm taking it, no, a bomb I mean. And I'm making it so then it's since the bomb goes in and out in the game, I'm changing the sprites so then it makes four of them. And then it'll make it look like an effect of making big and small. And I'll center this. And now we're on to the objects. So first we're going to create the Bomberman object. We want to set the depth to negative one so then the object Bomberman is drawn above all other objects. We'll just give the sprite down. First we need to initialize the variables so we're going to have image and image speed. We're going to set that to zero, so you won't have any motion. And then we're going to make the variable face. Face will be used later for when he's moving down, right, up, and left. So first we're going to do a keyboard check. I spelled keyboard wrong quickly. Let me fix that. And then we're going to do a keyboard press. I mean check. V key right equals true. So when you're holding down the right key. And then if place free equals x plus 4. So what this is doing is checking 4 pixels to the right. And then I'll move 4 pixels to the right. And we're going to copy this code. Change it so left. Minus 4. Minus 4. And then V key up. And we want it Y minus 4. And then Y minus equals 4. And then we want to put V key down. Y plus 4. Y plus 4. And that's it for the movement. Now we still need to make the sprite change, so we'll do that in the end step. If you don't do it in the end step, then the translation will be weird. And we also need to add the variables for the face for each direction. So left faces 4, right faces 1, up faces 2, and down faces 0. So we put now we're going to make all the sprites change. So first what we're going to do is we're going to say if x is less than x previous, this means, basically, the x-coordinate is moving left. So we'll have the sprite at an x equals Bomberman moving left. I mean, yes, left right there. And then we need to set the image speed, and we'll just make it 0.33, and then end that. We'll copy this four times, we'll switch to greater than, then it's right. And then after that, we'll do y is less than y previous. This means we're going up. And then we want y is greater than, and then it's going down. And now, we, if you're stopped, you'll still be moving, have a moving sprite. So we need to do if face equals 0, then sprite index goes SBR Bomberman. And we'll have it down, because that's what the face means. And then we're going to copy this four times. And then we'll switch it to face is 1, it's right. And then when face is 2, it'll be up. And then face is 3, it's left. Now we need to make sure that you're not moving. So what we do here is we put if x equals x previous and y equals y previous. What that will do is it'll check that you're not moving at all. So let's test this out. Alright, as we can see, we can move in all four directions. But it looks like the sprite is a little bit too fast, so we're going to make it go a little bit slower. So what we can use is we find the find resource thing, and we put in 0.33, so it highlights all those. And then we're going to replace it with 0.1, and it'll replace everything in that step. Next, what we want to do is create a bomb. So we'll do in the key press event for keypad 0, and we need to initialize another variable called bomb. So bomb equals 1. This means you have one bomb in the beginning. So if bomb is greater than 0, this means so you can even put multiple instances of a bomb if you have it upgraded. 
and I didn't create the object yet. So we're going to create the object bomb quickly. So do object underscore bomb, and then with the sprite bomb. And since the image moves really fast in the sprite, I'm going to set the image speed to uh, about 0.5. This will make it half the speed, and it'll look normal. So we do object bomb at a relative position of 0, 0. Now next, we want to set the variable bomb to minus 1. And we'll make that relative. And that's it. Now in the object bomb, what we want to do is we want to set an alarm. So then when, after like a few seconds, it'll blow itself up. So we're going to say 90 steps. We'll test this out. Make an event alarm 0. And then make it destroy itself. And then we'll just make an effect for an explosion for this tutorial. I will switch this in a later tutorial to the actual like bomb motion that it does in the Bomberman game, if you know what it is. So you need this. We'll just put it here. You don't really need it right now. It doesn't do anything except an effect. So we'll test out to see how long the bomb is. So we can move fine. That sprite looks good. Nice and slow. And then we'll create the bomb. And it creates an explosion in the top left corner of the screen because I forgot to set it relative. So what we want to do is we want to set, well, we want the alarm. It's too long. So we're going to make this shorter. Let's say 21. Let's make it relative. And we'll test this out again. And that looks way too fast. So we're going to set the alarm again. Make it 30. And I'll just keep going through this until I found the right value. If you don't want to wait, it's at 40. There's a good approximate value of it bounces and goes bigger and smaller three times. You just see me test it one more time and put it to 40. We'll play this. Alright, it looks good. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. I'll try to keep creating these tutorials.